Ladies and gentlemen, it's Wednesday, which means it's patch day, which means it's I get to talk about this week in Eternal Evolution. Uh, basically, this segment, I get to just talk about the game. What's, what's what happened? What's going to happen? Yada, yada, yada. You know the drill. Hey, everybody. Okay. Eternal Evolution. Uh, today is what? Today is March 8th. Uh, most of you are probably going to be seeing this on March 9th, so a Wednesday. Patches come out on Thursdays on this game. This is a mid-cycle patch. I say that because the new characters are two-week banners, and then in the middle of that, we get a mid-cycle patch. Usually, they aren't as big. They aren't as flashy, but this patch has some really juicy tidbits that uh, I've been asking for, and I know a lot of other people have been asking for. So, let's dive into the game. First, let's discuss the week that was and what the ramifications of what we got last week uh, or the ramifications on the game so really what did we get last week we got let's go talk about this dungeon first so we got the final dungeon that we knew we were going to get in the Katosian triangle and it is uh, not a hunter boss it is the it's it's basically an assassin kind of but it's a summoner fight unfortunately you know, it's not like they didn't just give us Crimson Abyss, which is another pure summoner fight. They are pushing more summoners upon us. I guess technically in their mind, they probably thought this guy was Assassins, this guy was Energy. And what should we make this one? Maybe Hunters? Especially since we're going to have some Hunter content to talk about. Maybe they should have held this one off for two weeks and then dropped it with Hunter gear. But no, Summoner. Summoner, Summoner, Summoner. And this one is hard. I just did put out a guide on it. Um, you, me at 20 million power on my main account can pr almost auto it. Uh, I, not consistently. Uh, consistently, I can beat it really easily, but I got to play it on manual. Um, but uh, it's hard. It's hard even for in-game players, which is good. I kind of like the challenge. It's kind of nice because then it, it, it entices theory crafting and better gear sets and yada, yada, yada. Like, they're, they're adding something in this patch to... Uh, highlight that this boss, unlike other PvE bosses, can crit, which means you can run extraction gear, right? Although extraction gear takes away a lot of attack, so really the testers are like, well, that doesn't really work, and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so this guy, we got this guy last week, and then the other, uh, but more importantly, the gear that we got from him uh, is making a splash. Is there a way I can look? Let's go like this. There we go. Marauder gear. Marauder gear is really, really sweet. This one's going to change the game. It's already changed the game for the newest character in the game. It's a four-piece set crit rate as the as the one bonus, and then on displacement, so uh, assassins uh, crit damage increased by 80 and life steal last five seconds. Right. So uh, this thing pairs really well with any displacement character. I don't think Crete or Leo or anything is really going to gain from this because Leo. Doesn't really care about crit damage. Crete doesn't care about crit damage. Uh, maybe Guan Yu, right? We're going to talk about old Guani, uh, old Guac boy. Um, yeah, maybe. I don't know. So we got him. And then the piece de resistance from last week, or from the week that was, is Nord Thion, a.k.a. Nord VPN. Now, this guy is a beast. Uh, you know, we, uh, two weeks ago, we got, uh, three weeks ago now, actually, when we got Rickert, everyone thought, oh, Rickert is an animal, he's a monster, he barely sucks now, and blah, 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 and blah, 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 and then we got this guy, and everyone was just like, uh, he's a melee energy, like, every, like even I kind of thought, this guy looks like he's going to be a tank for energy. But, not, not only does he do that, and he does that well, uh, he is a... DPS damage god. An absolute behemoth. And he looks really, really cool, too. Let's see. So this is one of my free-to-play accounts. This isn't my main account, even though I got lots of nice gold stuff there. Uh, almost got Leo on this account, too. Oh, where is he? He's way down here. He's purple. So this guy just looks cool. And yeah, we are halfway through his banner. He has made an immediate impact in this game, namely in Guild Hunt Spider Boss. Now, all of a sudden, 
Whale boss is easy with the assassins. Spider boss is cake with Nord and uh, Ravenna and Luke. And Rez. Rez goes really well with this guy. Really well. Uh, so this guy's definitely changed up the game. Story mode. I've been pushing levels today. I think I put it on auto on like 52. And I made it up 52.8. And I made it up to 52.24. Just unreal. Uh, this guy. So he's here for another week. So don't walk. Run. Go get him. He is a game changer. Top. Everyone's already saying top four characters. Them. The top four being Leo, Dan, Anpu, North Ion, right? Okay. Not record. Nope. No, no not record. Um, Leo definitely impacts all areas of the game. Dan definitely impacts all areas of the game. Anpu definitely impacts all areas of the game. But you do need Sword Valley. Keep that in mind. And this guy definitely making a big impact in multiple, multiple game modes. So that's the week that was in eternal evolution now i'm probably going to switch my face let's talk about the week that is so this week coming up uh where's my scene transition there we go my head's all the way way up here all right okay so i'm gonna read the notes in here again it's not as good because i can't highlight but i don't like pulling up the facebook i just don't uh, this is just a an easier way it fits nicely on the screen i don't gotta like mess with my zoom yada 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 so these are the patch notes for today wednesday about what's coming in the next upcoming week uh, and there's a bunch of stuff in here so first of all which is i find it hilarious that the february kraken gift on the vip program was uh, a selection card and everybody and their dog picked guan yu because there's no way to get Guan Yu. There has never been a banner for Guan Yu. They let it slip for one week in chips. But everybody in their dog picked Guan Yu. And now they're just like, oh, crap. Guess we got to give them to everybody. So, <clears throat> version update details. Uh, optimize Guan Yu's ultimate skill. So they made him, basically, they made him a displacement character. So that he can work with the ultimates and work with their commander, right? So... Um, added a short distance displacement. It's probably going to be kind of like uh, North Ion. Very, very small, tiny displacement uh, skill. And that's going to trigger the Hagridon shield, right? Okay. Plus, he's also, since he's going to be able to work with Hagridon, he's also going to contribute. Well, I guess all the Vanguards already contributed, so that doesn't really change anything. Adjusted North Ion's ultimate skill descriptions. They're not messing with his stuff. This game uh, and these devs are, are very good to... They've never nerfed anything, uh, not to my knowledge. So that's good. Um, they're changing the, the text, right? Corresponding multilingual translations. The skill does not change. So North Ion is still the monster that he was all this last week. Now, here's what uh, the basically what we're getting for content. This is the new content coming tomorrow. A new limited recruitment banner is open on some servers. Keep in mind, some is after the third week. After the third week, once you get into the Masrani banner, you can actually get um, the newest uh, content banner. So you will get Masrani, and then you will get uh, Nord Thion. If you're in week three, and then you will get Guan Yu, and then that's the same going up, right? Four or five, so. Uh, no, week four, week four. You have to be in week four, I do believe. So when they say some servers, that's what that means. It's it's after the uh, initial event. During the event, you're gonna be able to get Guan Yu. So that's cool, right? I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna spend 60 limited tickets, get one copy, and then I'm just gonna sit on them because I'm in a really nice space of equilibrium where every two weeks I am getting enough chip or limited tickets and um, gene hybrids. To be able to immediately take the next um, new character to Immortal on day one. Now, it's looking like I'm going to have... <clears throat> by the time... This time next week, I'm going to have five gene hybrids. Five. Five? Yeah, five. Which means I have to pull three copies in roughly 200 tickets. Which is doable but not likely so i'm my luck is running out uh, i did spend 60 uh, limited tickets to get a, a ravenna copy this week usually i don't but I, I 
I, I like to pick up an extra character, but I knew that I was reaching the crunch point where I was running out of tickets, that buffer. So I might not be able to get the guy next week, day one. And I don't really feel like spending a bunch of money to buy more tickets. So, uh, seven day banner. Like I said, this is a mid week update. Hence, uh, Guan use banners only seven days. And then we're getting the quantum mimic machine, which is basically go do stuff, go do anything. It's going to give you three tries at the machine. You can spend money, you can buy more, right? There's a limited amount of items available in that machine. If you pull all the other ones, then you have a higher chance of getting the big stuff. Big stuff being uh, Nord VPN copies and then Prism Amulet. Prism Amulet is juicy. I would love, 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 love to get more Prism Prism Amulets. So that's also seven week. That's a one weeker. And then Return to Giant Tower. Uh, the main uh, thing is Guan Yu copies. That is also a one weeker. So to get the first copy, you have to pull 80, 80 limited tickets now since i am pulling 60 on to get his one copy i am tempted to pull another 60 but then i'm hurting my chances for the main character we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll see all right and then here's uh, the other stuff they're just going to add to the game so they're going to add new equipment sets to the katosian triangle okay what what new new equipment sets they just added new equipment sets no 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 oh it's not in here so we can't see it there yet uh, but if we go to a hero right uh, equipment this is a weird way to look at it so my head's in the way but it's going to be all at the bottom here so the other two sets that we currently do not have access to are Lord, Lord and Conduct. Conduct looks like it's got a healing icon. So that might be new gear for healers or support. Uh, I'm, I'm curious on that one. This one is blood. Now, Guan Yu, who's also being released tomorrow, has a bleed effect. I do believe he is the only character that has a bleed effect. And we do have bleed focused uh, prototypes. So maybe, maybe they're leading to something there. I don't know. We'll see. Because let me, let's, let's think. What, what do we got? Madness. Madness is summoners. It's under my head. You can't see it. Madness is summoners. And then Marauder is displacement, right? So assassins and vanguard. Surge, whoa, 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 whoa. Surge is AoE. I didn't mean to click on that. Surge is AoE, so energy, right? Extraction is also summoners, I do believe. Let me see. Yeah, when a summon receives crit damage. So this is good for the new dungeon, right? Because if your summons receive crit damage, you get healed, so you can stay up. So we got uh, Madness, which is summoners. We got... Uh, Marauder, which is displacement, so assassins and vanguards. We got surge, which is energy, extraction, which is also summoners. Realm, I do believe. I don't know what realm is. I can't remember. Let's click on it and see. So realm is an attack set, increased damage to summons. So that one is useless. Realm is useless because you kill the summons, the summons still kill you. So what do we got? What what haven't we seen? What haven't we seen? Need a hand? Let's go back. Let's go into characters. So tanks. We didn't see anything for tanks. Vanguard, yes. Assassin, yes. Hunter, no. So it'd be nice to see. Why can't? Oh, oh, because that's the whole window. It'd be nice to see a, one of those sets be for hunters. Support. Healers. Conduct might be that. We have energy. We have summon. So really, tanks, hunters, and supports for those two sets. So that's coming tomorrow. We'll hold your breath. Let's wait and see. Okay. So that's coming. We don't know where. They're probably gonna be, you know, there's two sets. We only have, we have three dungeons, so who knows. Added some new equipment to those. The drop rates of the previous equipment does not change. I don't know how that is possible unless they get rid of some of the altar gear that's in there. Don't know. Uh, and then we're getting another Triple S Commander. This one specifically is for attack speed characters. Okay, attack speed characters. Who are they? Well, let's let's not count Mooka. 
Uh, we're looking, and let's... Well, I guess we got to start at the bottom. Xander is a hunter, right? And then we got Emma and Azina are both hunters. We've got old... And these are these are hunters that t rely on in their kit attack speed. Uh, we got old John, who's in the Rise of Heroes event right now. I forgot to talk about that. We had that this week. Old John's looking interesting. Old John is an attack speed commander, as well as Prigor and Moriami. So pretty much all hunters and Muka are attack speed uh, heroes. Let me know if I forgot somebody. Put it down in the comments. So we're getting a, a, a new commander, an SSS level 1 for, I'm just going to say four hunters, which is going to replace the Anubis looking guy. Don't remember what he is. I can't remember his name. Uh, it's like a Viking name or something. Brunhild. 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 I, it came to me. You know, I'm, I'm old, but I'm not that slow yet. So we're getting a hunter commander that can replace them. So what what does this hunter do? For every few, I don't like them saying few. Just give us a number. Say two. But that would be a couple. I don't know. Two or three. Say three. For every three basic attacks on the same target made by all allied heroes, which is the hunters are going to do, an effect gets triggered. Inflict a certain percentage of attack as bonus true damage. Now that might make Emma... That might bump her back into relevance because uh, the hunters might take over again on the whale boss <clears throat> in guild hunt if they do a, a butt ton, a metric butt ton more attack as true damage, right? So that's cool. My mouse, every time I touch it, it's, it's just jumps. Uh, two, when there are three or more hunters. Okay, so it's, it is hunters. It's just hunters. Can't throw Mook in here. When you have three or more hunters on the field... So basically, uh, Emma, Azina, Taylor for the majority of you, um, Xander, Taylor, Emma probably for the vast majority of you. For me, who, who am I thinking? Emma, Zena, and then Old John, probably. Probably Old John, because Old John also has some cool CC in his kit. Um, for every blah, 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 blah. For every few basic attacks, so, so say three. On the same target made by allied range heroes, a.k.a. hunters. Uh, knock the target back to the edge of the attacker's range and stun them. Now, the knock back, okay, that doesn't blow my socks off. But the stun, stuns are clutch in this game. Stuns are clutch. So, the thing about hunters is they're very squishy. And this is going to give them more survivability because it negates your enemy's chance to move or act. Except if they're going against assassins, they're still going to get wrecked. <laughs> assassins will eat hunter teams. So the knockback and stun is cool. The, the skill one is even cooler with the big old bonus attack is true damage. That's really cool. In PvP, the damage and max HP of allied units is increased. It's probably going to be 20%. The same as the, the new energy SSS commander did for energy characters uh, in PvP. My freaking mouse. The ultimate skills of Emma, Azina, Botmark 2, and Taylor can trigger Carmoda's basic attack effects. Now, why they said it was only these characters? Don't know. Uh, because... I don't use Botmark anymore. I don't use Taylor anymore. I would much rather use Emma, Azina, and Old John. I don't know why this little asterisk is there. Um, blah, blah, blah. Added a passive skill of Lord. So the, the Reaper Deca boss, they're just going to add some text in there, as we discussed, that says that the boss can critically hit, right? And then hence all the stuff that we've already discussed. And now we get... Some under the hood fixes, the stuff that uh, can be sometimes very, very important. Uh, added an equipment preset system to facilitate your operation in various battles. I wish I would have pulled up the Discord thing because I would have showed you uh, what I would have, what it looks like. Although it's kind of just like formations. And then as well, they optimized the formation functions, and so now you can actually name your formations, which I know I like. And when I couldn't, I was like, what the hell? Uh, so that's cool. That's a no-brainer. That should have been implemented with formations. Optimize the battle system performance. So this is all that stuff we just did the survey on. The health bars, the blah, 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 uh, blah, blah, blah. The debuff. They're removing debuffs and buffs from the hero's bar. I don't like that. Uh, I, don't, I don't like that. 
And then they're just doing, when they say optimize the interface, they're tweaking it to make it prettier, basically. So how I currently do gear sets, uh, which is what you might have to do as well. Yeah, I am who you're for. So on my main, okay, can you hurry up, Ampu? I'm trying, I'm trying to make a video here, bud. All right. So how I works, how I change gear sets on my main. So like Ampu, I will switch from uh, Light Gap, which is the PVP set, to Surge, which is his PVE set. Dan as well. He'll go from Light Gap to Madness. Now, what I have been doing on my main account, where I do a lot of those switches, is I will put a lot. I will only lock gear that I use on characters. So these would all be locked on my main account. So now when I switch these out for surge sets, uh, the surge sets will also be locked. So I will have a quick visualization. So like if we do this, let's just do this for you. Surge. So my head's in the way. Of course, I got a huge noggin. I know, you know, sorry, mother. Um, so then and Poo's, say, gloves. Oh, attack gloves. Those would be him. I'd do that. So when I switch out for Surge, I'd be like, bang, there it is. Replace, right? Head, same thing. Bang, look for the lock. Replace. If there's more characters that need Surge, I will do a quick little scan. Yeah, it's got attack and accuracy. I'm just saying it would have attack and accuracy if I'm going to switch it. So that is how I'm currently doing it. Now, this game, you can, you can lock gear into presets, uh, but... When you switch presets, the gear that you have in the in the other preset is just going to move into your bag, into your inventory. So, which is why I say that you should lock all the gear on all your characters because I'm still going to use that as a visual cue not to equip that piece of gear onto a different character. Because if we go down that route, if your gear gets all mixed up and your presets all overlap other characters, like I know... Star Wars Galaxy Heroes, it would, um, would it show who it was equipped? No, no, no. Yeah, it was messy there too. You had to really keep track of where your mods were, which was gear. So this one, when I switch to Surge Set, these light gap pieces go into my bag, where if I'm all of a sudden, I'm looking, oh, I want to gear this other character, make him good too, and I pick that same pieces of gear that was currently on my Ampu, they're going to get all of a sudden, you know, I'm going to go to equip them back on Ampu and it's going to pull the gear off another character and then that character is screwed. So uh, they, they still need another visualization, which is the lock. So if it's locked, I won't equip it on another character. So you're going to have to go through all your gear, all your heroes. If you, if you're going to do this as well, lock every piece of gear that is associated with that character or that's currently equipped on that character so that you know that it's earmarked to a current character built. If you find a better piece of gear in the future that's better than that gear, unlock it, throw it back in your bag. Now it's free game. So that's coming. I'm really excited for that. Um, but it's going to be messy. It's going to be a day of really busy, tedious work locking all your gear and making all your gear sets. And we only get a hundred of them. I've heard that. I don't know if I, if, if that is was said in here. I don't know if they said that on the Discord. But apparently, we're getting a hundred gear sets. We're going to need more. Why not go 500? Right? Just saying. Freaking most. So... And then they're going to add a tutorial for beginners, right? Beginners aren't going to use this. This is an end game thing where people are mix and matching sets. Case in point, I wake up in the morning. I'm laying in bed. It's 5 a.m. I got to go do Crimson, whatever that dungeon's called, that big old snappy turtle one. Oh, I got to switch Dan into Madness, and I got to switch Anpu into Surge. Some days I just don't switch them and I leave them in light, light gap because I'm lazy. But I will switch them if I have easy gear uh, presets. I can just bang, bang, and it's done, right? So I'm actually excited for this. Uh, optimize the formation function. We already talked about that. We already talked about that. Blah, blah, blah. Everything else is pretty. Blah, 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 blah. Now, all the bug fixes don't care because it's 24 minutes in this video. You're probably already gone probably not paying attention right so people usually tend to tune out about eight minutes in so i but it seems like all my videos run 24 minutes so that's what's coming um they're actually surprisingly that's a lot of stuff for a mid 
cycle content update. Um, Guan Yu, we'll see. I'm really interested in the extra or the new gear sets in Katosian. Uh, I'm interested to see who they work on because that's a lot of theory crafting. Uh, you'll see videos out for me. I do have other characters with other gear sets that I just haven't made videos for because it's been a busy week. I just came off call today. I'm looking forward to the gear sets. I'm looking forward to the gear presets. And that's going to be the majority of my time next week. So, Guan Yu, Guan Hu, right? Guacamole boy. I call him Guacamole boy because he's green. Right? Like, I, I've, I'm not going to... I don't think I'm going to use Guan Yu. Where are you, bud? Oh, you're right there. You're hiding in plain sight. He's a really cool looking character. Like, oh. I guess I can't show you guys if I'm uh, hiding him. It's a really cool looking character, but he's a he's a launch character, right? So he's 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 gonna need a little more love. He is very cool looking though. So Guan Hu, Guan Yu, Guac Yu, whatever, right? Very very cool armor though. I like the whole samurai look with the big old pole arm pike thing, whatever you want to call it. So ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna wrap it up there. Uh, I hope you enjoy these. Uh, content update videos um, I try to do I try to do one every Wednesday just because it's fun to do and I'm gonna read through the stuff and I'm gonna think it over my head and I might as well share my thoughts with you um, one other thing uh, speaking of uh, content update videos I am not making any more free-to-play weekly videos because since I'm out in the wild now and I'm just off of the I made that. I started that series because I really wanted to maximize and make a, an efficiency guide on how to go through those first five weeks, which I did. Now that I'm out in the wild and I'm just with everybody else, I'm just grinding another account. So you're going to see a lot. You're not going to see any more videos on my free to play, uh, the one on my phone, I should say. You're not going to see any more videos of that account. I may even give that account up. I haven't decided because I. I I'm a video game addict and I want to play them all. Uh, but um, I don't really see the point anymore. I like my main account. It's got all the shiny bells and whistles. It's got all the toys. It's fun. The main account is just a grind. If it was my only free-to-play account and if I was a free-to-play player, cool. That's the game. But I've never been that guy. <laughs> so, oh god, we're 27 minutes in now. Okay, we're going to wrap it up there. Guys... Uh, get Guan Yu, don't get Guan Yu. I always recommend get one copy to pity, but make sure you have enough limited tickets and gene hybrids for the upcoming character because they've they've all been bangers. Back to Bada. Bada was the only dud. Other than that, they have all been excellent. Very cool, very complex kits. The devs are doing a very good job on them. I have a feeling we're gonna get another energy character, and we're gonna then we're gonna get another hunter character because they already gave us old John. They already gave us old John. Here I go, I'm moving my head again, talking about more stuff. They already gave us old John, and he does have for an elite. He's he, first of all his animation is sick. It's freaking cool, and he's just cool design. But his kit is actually fairly interesting. It's fairly interesting. So the hunters are lining up for something, in my opinion. Problem is that the hunters just kind of suck. Let's look at hunters. Again, I'm way off tangent now. Way off tangent. All right, I got to keep this under a minute here. So what do we got for hunters? Really? Really? Uh, wait, I'm missing hunters on here. Am I? No, I'm not. Oh, yeah, Emma's not even on here. Duh. Really, we have... Emma is wicked, and I'm talking just for SSS. I got I got a Moriyami copy, but I don't got an Emma copy. What is wrong with me? Uh, more these two might be good with this new commander. They might be. They might be. But old John has a nice kit, but you can't you can't get rid of Emma and Xena, especially Emma with this new commander is going to be hitting so hard. So I get the feeling you're going to be wanting to run like a tank. Old John, Emma, Azina. That's too much. Emma, Azina, tank, Old John, 
healer. All right, that's five. Okay. Uh, sadly, Prigor Mariami, you uh, no 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 love, no not no not love for you. All right. Okay. Now I have to wrap it up because I'm 30 minutes in, and you guys are all gone except for those two of you still watching. If you made it to the end of this video, put Hunter, put Hunter in the comments, so then I will know you made it to the end, and. Uh, I'll say thank you very much, and I'll give you a little nice little heart on your comment, but I will appreciate you gladly or immensely. So, till next time, I gotta wrap it up. Till next time, guys. Cheers. Peace. Bye bye.